I apologize from the bottom, from the depth of my heart. That's actually why I'm tearing up now, guys. I'm so sorry. Well, my ideal partner will be someone who's not necessarily perfect. Now, if you get one video per week, be cool. Edjo, just manage it. Hi darlings, if you're new here, my name is Yvonne and after a very long time, I'm back with another video, finally. Like, uh, guys, you don't even know how I feel. To my old subscribers, welcome back and thank you so, so much for sticking around. And if you're joining us, welcome to the family. Today, I'll be updating you guys on life so far. I'll also be reintroducing myself and my channel to you guys, you know, for those that don't know much about me or my channel, you know, like a get to know me tag, really. Um, by the way, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please, please, I'm, I'm pleading because I know I might have, dis I mean, I have disappointed you guys and I apologize from the bottom from the depth of my heart i'm so sorry you know but please make sure you subscribe right now as you'll be helping me out and so you don't miss the videos i'll be dropping consecutively for the rest of the year also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you can be notified every time i post a video so i'll begin by telling you guys what's been up with me and why i haven't posted in almost a year Yes, for those that are just joining, I haven't posted in a very long time. You know, the thing is, life happened. I don't even know where to start from, to be honest. I think I said something about it in one of the last videos I made. First, I lost my grandmother and then I lost some money. And then it felt like everything just went downhill. And I just think I was depressed. I couldn't even do anything. You know, I stopped painting. I mean, for you guys that know me, I'm an artist. I paint, you know, but I stopped painting. I wasn't talking about my problems to anybody. I stopped communicating with most of my friends and none of these were helping, to be honest, you know, and I had to start therapy because I really needed it my family knew that something was wrong with me but they couldn't pinpoint um <clears throat> and i couldn't tell my parents because like that's why the fact that i'm an adult my dad is a super disciplinarian he's not going to hesitate to tell you the truth that hurts the bitter truth and he's not going to say it in a nice way either so i just didn't want to deal with it. I was, it was already enough for me that I was depressed and going through it, you know, and I didn't want to tell my mom because my mom and dad are like two peas in a pod. I'll tell my mom, she's going to comfort me and all of that, but she's still going to, I'm still going to hear it from my dad and he's not going to keep shut about it, even if she tells him to, you know? So I just decided to keep everything to myself and I was hurting and enduring all these things. You know, my parents knew that something was wrong, but they couldn't really tell because I wasn't telling them you know, so they decided to, um, you know, pay for therapy for me. I don't know. They literally forced me, you know, and I knew that I needed it. So I, of course, you know, I, I went and, you know, therapy actually helped, you know, and after a while I had to come to terms with the fact that I had to get up, stop sulking and do something. By this time though, to be honest, like months had already passed, you know, but it was okay. Um, another thing is I, guys, I, I got a job in, a new job in finance. Yes, guys, I have a nine to five now. Um, well, actually it's eight to seven, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. But I mean, you get it, nine to five, eight to seven, tomato, tomato. Yeah, um, I'm a banker and, um, it's time consuming and to be honest that is another reason i wasn't able to resume earlier i first off i actually took this job because apart from the fact that i love to learn i love to gain new experiences i also felt it was going to take my mind off what i was dealing with or what i was trying to heal from and to be honest it did because uh, now i have another headache you know i'm never thinking about the money i've lost or you know the stuff i've been through now i'm thinking about work 
how to escape Lagos traffic. For those who live in Lagos, Nigeria, you know what I mean. I mean, Nigerians already know how Lagos is with the traffic and all of that, you know, and then I'm getting back, you know, home really late and tired and, you know, I just have to get ready for the next day, go to bed and wake up again early. And it's like a cycle, guys. So, you know, it's, it's a whole lot, you know. Um, it's t like I said earlier, it's time consuming. And that's another reason I wasn't able to resume earlier. You know, I had to figure out a schedule that works for me with this new job and all. And to be honest, I'm not done figuring it out. But the truth is, I just had to make this video, you know, because procrastination is a, is a dream killer. Like, if not now, when? So, yes, I will keep, you know, making more content during my free time and putting them out while trying to figure out a schedule that you know, works for me. So I have some questions here that I have been asked that I'll be giving answers to. Um, number one is, what is your channel about? Um, well, to answer that, this channel is basically a lifestyle channel. I do the occasional vlogs. I make content on self-improvement and personal growth for the millennials and the Gen Zs. I do the occasional mukbangs where I'm eating while talking to you guys. I also make other fun content like fun challenges with people and I chit chat, you know, I talk about stuff that's happening. I mean, not everything that happens in my life, of course, but I give you guys some, you know, spicy story time once in a while so yes i basically create lifestyle content that's what i do that's what this channel is all about two what are your favorite things to do okay my favorite things to do are go to nice restaurants if you know me you know i love to do that you know, I love to try out new meals. I love to travel. I love to visit new places, you know, read, learn, watch movies. But I hate going to the cinemas. I mean, unless I'm going to be the only one there or it's going to be I and whoever I'm going with, you know. But otherwise, I'd rather stay at home, you know, make it cozy, make a cinema out of the house, you know. Yeah, that's it for me. You know, there are obviously other things I like to do, but for now, these are all that come to mind. Three, what are, what are your main fears of starting the channel again? Okay. Um, right now, I wouldn't say I have fears. Yes, previously, I had fears that I wouldn't have any views or new visitors or subscribers since, of course, obviously, I've been away for, you know, a long time. But right now, I'm not even entertaining any of those fears. I'm just going to, you know, keep making and putting out content because it's something I like to do, you know, and hopefully with consistency, the right crowd will show up. So, yeah. Number four, how often do you plan to publish videos well i plan to publish videos one to two times a week like i said i'm still trying to figure out a schedule that works for me so for now if you get one video per week please be cool edjo just manage it just manage it thank you number five what's the funniest insult you have ever heard okay i don't know to be honest i cannot even remember honestly i don't really keep things like that in my head unless big nose counts i don't know someone called me that once and it was funny because first my nose is not massive and even though it's not small either tell me something i don't know i know my nose is not small I mean, it's not super big, but it's not small either. So why are you telling me? I mean, I know I don't have a small nose. So <laughs> yeah, that was funny to me, like weird funny. Oh my God, guys, I forgot to charge my camera battery. Just hold on so I could plug it in. Yeah, so question six. 
name some songs that would be your live soundtrack. Hmm. Now this one, let me see. Okay, um, Eye of the Tiger by Survivor. I don't know if you if you've watched the movie Rocky Four, then you know you should know the song I'm talking about. I like it. Um, Don't Stop Believing by Johnny. That one as well is something I can say I, you know, reckon with in my life journey, you know, and um, Unwritten by Natasha Bedingfield. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I have to sing any of these songs for you guys to, to know, but in case you guys don't know, I, I actually am just waking up. I have only brushed my teeth. I haven't even taken a shower, so yeah um <laughs> i don't know i'm telling you guys this but yeah unwritten by natasha beddingfield it goes this way i'm just trying to tell you guys that my voice is not the best right now but yeah i'll go ahead and just sing the chorus um feel the rain on your skin no one else can feel it for you only you can let it in no one else no one else can feel the touch i can't remember Na na na, in words and spoken, leave your life with arms wide open. Today is where your book begins. The rest is still unwritten. Guys, I don't really. It's been a while. Okay. It's been a while, but I, I'm sure if I sit down, I'd actually remember. But yeah, it's been a while. I've, I've not sang it out in a while, but it's always been one of my, you know, favorites. It's something I could relate to. Yeah um question number seven hmm if you could change anything that happened what would it be i guess i guess you guys are asking like in my life basically if i could change any life event and the answer is nothing because everything that has happened to me have all led me to this moment to this point that i'm at now and even though i haven't gotten to the peak i'm still on my journey and everything that's happened to me make up my story you know it's all part of the journey however one thing that i could change though are my responses to certain events in my life or certain things that have happened to me basically you know the way i respond to these things are what i think you know i'll change question eight would you like to be famous? Hmm. These questions though, I, I don't even understand, <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't really care about being famous to be honest, whether I am or not, it's okay. I just want to succeed in life, you know, make money and make heaven period. He read question nine, who would be your ideal partner? Hmm. Well, my ideal partner will be someone who's not necessarily perfect, but someone who's God fearing, you know, who loves me unconditionally, someone who communicates, someone who works hard and works smart. Someone that genuinely loves me with all my shortcomings and imperfections. And trust me, this is not an excuse for bad character or bad attitudes. No, I'm not using this as an excuse, but the truth is that nobody is perfect and you need to find somebody who loves you with all those imperfections, you know? So yeah, my ideal person is someone who accepts me the way I am, who respects me and cares for me, who you know, tries in the best of ways to make me a better person, someone who is emotionally intelligent, and last but not the least, someone who is kind. Kindness is very important in every relationship, intimate or not, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a relationship, kindness is extremely important. Yeah, that's it. Question 10. Do you have any favorite childhood memories? Okay. Um, yeah, well, traveling to my dad's hometown as a child, 
and spending time with my grandparents and my extended family is one of my favorite memories. I remember those days, you know, we'd go on picnics to the riverside. It was a river, it wasn't a beach or anything, but it was so fun. The river was actually beautiful. And that was the first place I saw something that resembled, that I saw a starfish. It was the first place I saw a starfish and it was just beautiful. It was beautiful. I, I remember those times and those moments, you know, with all my cousins would go, you know, would spend time, would eat, you know, by the shores. It was just wholesome guys. It was wholesome. Those moments were perfect. And, you know, um, I don't know guys, I could be really emotional. I could be emotional because, um, I was really young, you know, I was young. Everything was perfect. We didn't have any problems you know it was just our parents and it was just our parents we and our parents and you know my grandparents god rest their soul that's actually why i'm tearing up now guys i'm so sorry but my grandparents were amazing people and um i mean we can't go back we 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 grow older every day and that's just life you know but those moments were wonderful you know they were absolutely amazing. Yeah. Question 11. Um, sorry, guys. <laughs> Question 11. How do you react when you are angry? Hmm. Okay, guys. So it depends on how angry I am, to be honest. I'll be honest with you. It could be anything from just my reaction could be anything from just being too quiet and being by myself, you know, to expressing my anger and venting. Yes, I'll talk, you know, in some cases, I'll tell you, especially if you're the one getting me upset, I'll reach out to you, I'll communicate, I'll tell you, see, I'm upset, you know, this is how I feel and all of that. You know, nothing too crazy, but you know, crazy is relative, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, 12. Name a few things that you are most grateful for in your life. Hmm. Okay. So I'm grateful for my parents. I'm grateful that they're still around and alive. I'm thankful for that. I'm grateful for my little brother. He's amazing, stubborn, annoying, but amazing. I'm grateful for my family generally. I'm grateful that you know, I have a good job. Um, I'm grateful for the wonderful people that God has placed in my life. I'm grateful that I know God exists. I'm grateful for this YouTube channel. I'm grateful that I am back. And I'm grateful for all of you, my darling subscribers, each and every one of you. I'm super duper grateful for you. Last but not the least, I'm grateful that I'm still here, hail and hearty. Thank God for that. So question 13, why should people subscribe to your YouTube channel? Hmm. Okay. You should subscribe to my YouTube channel because I share genuine and authentic content. My content is relatable, inspiring and entertaining. I mean, I don't go overboard to showcase the rich life or, you know, I, I mean, at the end of the day, yes, we all want soft life, but I show you guys how I create a soft life for myself, you know, and it's nothing overly super expensive or anything, you know, it's relatable. It's something everyone can actually relate to, or most people can actually, maybe not everybody, but most people can actually relate to. You know, I share inspiring content. I share entertaining content. You know, I'm working on my consistency, but please don't judge me, guys. I'm just being honest, you know, about the consistency part, you know, which is going to get better with time. And you guys are actually going to, you know, see that, you know. But yeah, I share genuine, authentic, and relatable content, inspiring and also entertaining content. So, like, I'm you're getting a bit of everything. If it's fun, you want, you're getting it. If you want to be inspired, you're getting it. If you want to be motivated, you're getting it. You know, if you want something you can relate to, you're getting it. So yeah, 
you guys should please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Okay? 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 <laughs> so yeah, that's it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done that already. If you have any video ideas for me, just let me know. And if your ideas are feasible, I'll get right to it. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful day or night. Bye. My favorite